Watching indoors and warm, unlike the millions of Americans who found themselves driving in the middle of a very dangerous ice storm this Sunday. A 50-car pileup late today on the Pennsylvania Turnpike that turned deadly. It wasn't the only one. More than two dozen cars colliding outside Milwaukee, a dangerous mix of snow and ice there. All of this part of a major system that had already left its mark on the south. Homes, trees still frozen in ice tonight. And in Plano, outside Dallas, just look and listen to this. Ice coming off of a roof. That was something. Meanwhile, at the Dallas-Fort Worth airport tonight, hundreds of stranded passengers spending a second night now sleeping at the terminal. And tonight, that storm is moving fast. Our extreme weather team on all of it here, beginning with ABC's Rob Nelson in Virginia tonight. Blinding snow and slick roads are leading to pile up after pile up tonight. In Milwaukee, this 30 car crash caused multiple injuries. And on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, a 50 car wreck killed one driver. This is where I have been for the last two or three hours. Roadways locked in an icy grip. The snow and ice have been wreaking havoc for days now in the south. So much ice on this apartment building roof in Plano, Texas, it's falling off in sheets. And now that system is barreling north. This time-lapse video shows just how quickly this storm blanketed roads in Pennsylvania. Authorities tonight urging drivers to stay off the roads. That hidden danger, black ice, which forms when the temperature of the pavement is colder than the air above it, causing more than a quarter million crashes every year. And travel by air isn't any easier. More than 2,000 flights canceled today. Ground stops at the airport in Philadelphia and at Washington's Reagan National. The rush is on to de-ice those planes. Even football was tough today. Detroit Lion Reggie Bush had to skip the game after injuring himself on the slippery field in Philadelphia. For those who did play, it was a challenge. And of course, all this snow may be pretty to look at, but the big question is this, how will the storm impact that all-important Monday morning commute?